Hi there, girls and boys. It is Susie Q here, and I don't like this angle. I'm gonna put it up here. Anyway, I'm driving in the car again. It should be called Driving Miss Crazy. Driving Miss Crazy, that should be my new name. Anyway, I was thinking to do a video for you. I'll do it on, the, I'll do it for Friday, and I'm gonna talk more about The Ordinary. I really like that product. I, you know, sometimes I'm very skeptical and I can't even believe that it's so inexpensive. And you know, how can it be good product? How can it be good ingredients for that low price? But you know, I'm sure they know what they're doing and it's pretty popular and it's working for a lot of people. So we've lucked out in the cosmetic industry, I think, you know, not paying $100 for an ounce of uh, serum. So, and it's natural. A lot of them are natural. I mean, a lot of them are chemical, but like the rosehip oil, it's cold pressed or organic or whatever. I'd have to go home and look at the bottle. And I've run out of everything. I have to repurchase it again. So uh, I'm gonna talk more about that. And you know what I've been really, really liking? I have been putting a drop of rosehip oil into my foundation, or you could do it with your CC cream. Just a drop and what a difference it makes in my skin feeling like it doesn't feel dry or cakey and not that it really did before it just I felt made up before not so much cakey but I could feel that I have something on my face but now with putting the art you know the rosehip oil you can put argon I think you could put argon oil or marula oil as well just one drop no more otherwise you're gonna be a, a slick <clears throat> and it it just makes your makeup slide on so much better like just it just seems and it's you know because you've got the oil in it it's um not just makeup anymore now you have a skincare whatever whatever i'm trying to say there skincare um benefit yeah so i'm off to the tailor to get some dresses shortened because I'm so short, everything has to be tailored. My pants have to be brought up. And I have one leg longer than the other, so it's always a miracle. So anyway, we'll talk to you later. Have a nice day. It's Susan here, and um, I thought I would talk to you more about my ordinary skincare uh, that I was talking about um, a few months ago. And I have to say, I really like it. I do f see an improvement and um, just a better feeling to my skin. And so I've heard a lot about um, the Pixie Toner. So um, then I watched some YouTube videos about the ordinary, uh, the glycolic toner and um, I thought I'd give that one a try. My daughter uses the Pixie one and she likes that one a lot and then uh, she also uses the Ordinary. So I just read, I was just reading about it and um, good thing I read about it because I thought I could just use it as my toner in the morning and at night and it and it does say, and I'm going to put my lovely glasses on, and it does say to just use it p.m. okay so it says ideally in the p.m. no more frequently than once per day after cleansing and you know you do the same thing like with any toner you put it on a cotton ball and it does say sunburn alert so this product contains an alpha hydroxy acid that may increase your skin sensitivity to the sun so that's you know it's a good idea to use a sunscreen in the day so anyway the the what it says at the top is glycolic acid seven percent toning solution with seven percent glycolic acid amino acids aloe vera ginseng and tasmanian pepperberry sounds exotic so it says here vis visibly targets texture textural irregularities and lack of luster tone lackluster tone so i thought i'd give that a try tonight so this is what it looks like comes comes with this little uh top part that so you can put it on your cotton ball easier so i'm going to give that a try like i said and so what I've been using now is I still use the same things. I'm very boring when it comes to cleansing my skin. I use the bath, the Body Shop um, olive, olive soap. And I know people have told you for years not to use soap. Well, I do, and I'm okay with it. And it 
hasn't clogged my skin or my pores. So whatever you want to cleanse your skin with. And you know what I wish The Ordinary had would be more uh, moisturizers to choose from. I think they have one. And um, I might give that a try one day. So what I do now is I use the soap to cleanse my skin. And then I, in the daytime, in the daytime, I just basically use my, my Elizabeth Grant caviar moisturizer. And then I go in with um, the hydraulic, oh, here I go again, hyaluronic acid. And this one's 2% with B5. And I just put a very light film of that, like three drops. And I found something new. It's not new to, to the ordinary, but new for me. And uh, it's a caffeine solution. Um, and I use that under my eyes because I have very dark circles. As I got, you know, around 55, it started where I got a really darkness under my eye. So I thought, and then, yeah, sometimes I get puffy. If I eat something salty or drink wine, you know how I like to drink wine. So I get a lot of, I get, the odd time I'll wake up with this puffy. So that's something new for me. So I thought I'd try this and it's been helping. I mean, I don't think anything's gonna really make the dark circles go away. That's where the concealer comes in. So after I just put one little drop on my fingertip and I blend it in under my eyes, I just tap it in and I just use one drop for both eyes. And after that, I use, like I said, I use my moisturizer after that and I put um, a couple of drops of, where is it now? Mm -hmm. Where did I put it? Okay, I'm losing my mind. Oh, here it is. This is the rose hip. It's the ordinary and it's the rose hip oil and I'm loving this stuff. And like I say, I've been putting it in my foundation. I put one drop, just one drop, but um, I, will, I will put a drop, a drop in my moisturizer as well because I've got, you know, aging skin now and it's dry in the winter here, so it's doing good. Now, one thing I have a problem with, and I've never had skin problems when I was a teenager, you know, other than the one monthly pimple that we get when we're younger. Um, I do notice I have blackheads, not to the, not so that anybody could see them, but if I look close into the magnifying mirror, I have very, you know, the pores are clogged. Well, there you go. Maybe the soap's clogging the pores. Well, I don't think I could do much about that because, you know, your pores are, are there and um, skincare is going to, cream is going to clog them, makeup's going to clog them, and I think most of us do suffer with clogged pores on our nose, and especially around under here. And here even, little tiny white, they almost look like melia. And I use, I use scrubs. It doesn't help. I'm wondering what I can use to clear that up. I don't know if I can ever clear that up. Anyway, it's been there for a long time. So, so I'm going to apply the skincare for, not that you don't know how to put skincare on. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna put the, um, the caffeine. I like drinking it and I like applying it. So one little drop and just pat it in under your eyes, not too close. It says just to, it sort of says just to stay underneath this area, you know, where the line is. I've noticed that the weight loss has really given me a lot of dents in my face. I guess it's all the fat that's, you know, gone. So you're gonna get, it started with a little bit of a line here and under the eye. What the hell? I'm 61 in February. I think I'm doing pretty good. It could be worse. Be happy with what you got, right? And this dries really, really fast. And it's not sticky. By the time you put your makeup on, it will be absorbed. <clears throat> so, you know me, I've been shopping again and uh, I finally went to the States with my daughter. She doesn't get much of a chance to go because she's got a five-year-old. So we finally went together and we had a good time. I went on my usual shopping frenzy. And um, I started off with saying I'm not buying anything, I don't need anything. But of course, if I see something on clearance and it's $20 and, and it's nice, I'm gonna get it. So I ended up getting a really cute summer dress, um, another little summer dress that I could wear, a little, I could wear fancy, I could dress it up, dress it down, I'm rambling. I'm supposed to be talking about skincare, hallelujah. Anyway, 
And then I got um, a faux fur short jacket uh, for $22. I couldn't pass that one up. And then I got a, a houndstooth little sweater for $23. So I made out like a bandit and um, that's all. And then the skincare, I had to repurchase some of the, the ordinary. So anyway, so that was the um, <clears throat> the caffeine. And then I use, oh, well, that's the caffeine. Where is the other one? Well, that's the, I can't see without my glasses, as you know. Okay, here's the hy hyaluronic. I'm getting good at it. Hyaluronic acid. And what I do with this one is I put three drops. And this one, well, it says it gives you hydration. I'm sure there's lots of other things it does. And I've read it, I've read all about it to you before. So if you want to know more about it, you can you can Google it. Pat it in a bit. Let it dry. Takes a few seconds. And then I go in with my moisturizer. And this one is, believe it or not, I don't have any day cream. I use night cream in the day and at night in the winter. Now in the summer, I use a day cream. So I just use about that much. Simple. You know what? I forgot to do my neck because I've got this turtleneck on it. It's kind of goopy. But you can do the, you can do the, hyaluronic acid on your neck, of course, which I didn't do today because I forgot. Pat that in. I have to do a facial mask tonight. You know, really, when I was a teenager, we did a facial mask once a week, and they say not to do that more than once a week. I think it's good to exfoliate more often um, with a mild one. You don't have to use a strong one, even if it's not a granule. Um, kind you can even just use I use one by origin and it's pink and it's got the tiniest micro granules in it so I don't think that's gonna harm you it's just gonna exfoliate exfoliate lightly and then once a week you can use a, a harsher one like a stronger one I know a lot of ladies are using all these acids um, retinol I'm really not educated in that I've never used it because I'm always afraid it's gonna burn my skin and I always figure you know don't fix what's not broken. But I can. I need to educate myself more in the retinols and the acids because a lot of younger ladies are wearing it or using it. And I want to know more about it. And I think it's basically, it's a turnover of your cells. So, and um, I watch a few YouTubers that are, you know, mature and they explain it a bit. And they say that it, it um, I guess it sloughs off the dead cells. And so that's what, what makes the, um, the collagen create more collagen in your skin. And one of them was saying that start off slowly. Don't use a strong one. I have to find that video again and look what she said. Okay, so that's the moisturizer. Oh my gosh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the, the rosehip oil in it. Oh well, I'll put more in my, no, I'm not gonna put more in my foundation, forget that idea. Okay, so then that's it. That's it for the skincare. And then, um, I'll show you what I do with the foundation. Okay, so this is my concealer. And I'm going to use my Dior foundation today. So I'll just show you these two steps and that's it. So then I just put a little bit on my finger. Instead of putting the wand under my eyes like a lot of people do, it's too much for me. I don't want so much concealer under my eyes. And I just tap it in, tap it in. Of course, I use this finger to go in the corner here because that always looks like a dry patch. I do go close to under my eye here with this. And whatever's left, I put it beside my nose. I have a little red spot here and I have a little brown thing here. I try to cover up a bit. It doesn't really cover up that easy. I'm thinking about getting it removed. I don't know what it is. It's been there for years. It's like a dry little brown. It's not even a mole. I had it checked once and she said it was nothing and she couldn't remove it because it needs a plastic surgeon, you know, because it's your face, right? Okay, so that's it for the concealer. And then I put one pump and just a little 
little tiny one, not even a half. And then I use the rosehip oil. And I just have, just put one little drop, one bitty drop. And I just blend that together with my fingertips like so. And then I just tap it all over. And I can use a beauty blender. Some days I use a beauty blender and some days I just use a brush. So I'm gonna blend that in. And it makes the foundation so much smoother, glides over your skin way better. And you know, I was, I was watching something about this and they said even people with oily skin can use these oils. You know, at one time you thought if you have oily skin, you can't use oil, but you can. I think the more you dry your skin out when you have oily skin, it just promotes the oils to keep on coming. I don't know, I think so. And voila. So I hope you uh, got some something out of that short little video. And um, we'll see you soon. And uh, have a nice weekend. Talk to you later. Bye for now.